you want to see how much money is in my bank accounts? I'm sure you all have to know how much is in Joe's Barrow Motors bank accounts. Here you are, look. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today I'm sat here trying to juggle a few things to make things work and I thought I'd give you an insight into running a £2 million turnover business and how that affects your cash flow. You would have thought it's all money everywhere and it's easy because there's bank accounts full of money. But actually, it turns out that for me, that's not always the case. Cash flows can be a big issue. It is for most businesses. But even for Jamie, who we visited recently at Car Key, uh, he was also saying, you know, that she's got 300 quid in his personal bank account, but he's got 3 million quid's worth of stock. So let me sort of talk you through and explain how sometimes too many sales can be bad news. We are on the 10th day of the month and we've sold 16 cars. And if we look at what's on the board there, we, I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna start our new stock book. We've got 25,900, 9,000, 6,000, three and a half grand, uh, eight and a half grand, eight grand, the Vitara, I can't remember what that was, let's say 10 grand, uh, seven grand, 1,200 quid, the VW Cabaret, I can't remember, I think that was seven grand, eight and a half grand, eight grand, 10 and a half grand, 6,700, 6,100. And if you go down to the bottom board, that's stuff from last month that's still waiting to go out. Six and a half grand, uh, 3,000 pounds, 14,000 pounds for a Navara, and 9,000 pounds for a Qashqai. That's great, right? Because we got tens and tens and tens and tens of thousands of pounds of worth of money to come in, which is always nice to look forward to. But I've got holes on my forecourt now, and I need cars to put back in their place. I've got bills stacking up. Here, I got one, which actually that one's paid to be fair, but that was for getting our green truck fixed, which we're probably going to sell off now. Got one here from the paint shop, James at J Repairs. I've got an overdue HM revenue and customs uh, here for PAYE. Don't worry, I've paid the employees, I just haven't paid the PAYE just yet, which I will do that. A uh, set of alloy wheel refurbishments. And if I log into my banking, I'll kind of show you exactly. Where we are because you know that sounds great doesn't it loads of money but as i say it creates a cash flow problem because i'm waiting for that money to come in can't buy new stock i need to keep paying for bills and we're waiting for one of these cars to go out just to to pay so it's a bit feast and famine in the car trade sometimes if we look at the business accounts we've got thirteen thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds in there still you know 13 grand not too bad my personal account has got 1400 quid in it because I've been raiding that in order to help Barry Motors cash flow. I've got another account as well as where I do all my YouTube stuff and all that sort of stuff. I've been raiding that just to pay things because of that 13,750 quid now, I've now got to pay seven grand. Remember that um, Fiat 500X that we sold? It's perfectly fine, lovely, and kind of did the payment and everything with the customer and Gave the customer the keys and out they went and it just wouldn't start. It hasn't started since. It's had to go back to Fiat to be looked at to find out what the hell's going on. And in the meantime, we, we said we'll upgrade them to a different car. But in order to stop the finance over, we've got to pay them back £7,000 and then they're going to pay us money again because it's a slightly different amount, seven and a half or something. Um, so I've got to pay that out in a minute, seven grand, and then. I agreed to buy a car from someone. So he's coming in around about midday in about 20 minutes. That's £4,700 for an Audi A1. And that's going to wipe out the bank account really, isn't it? And then, you know what bank accounts are like. Money just comes out left, right and centre, doesn't it? Oh, suddenly you've got to pay for auto trade. You've got to pay for that. You've got to pay for this. So, can be a bit squeaky bum time. What? At times. Now, of course, that 7000 is going to go out and then they're going to pay us some money back. So it should come straight back, but it's just the waiting in between. I've got Macaulay out today collecting a Range Rover Sport. That was 15 and a half grand. I've loaded that onto our stocking plan. So I had to pay for it first, and then I'm waiting for the money to come back. Again, I'm waiting for it. So all of a sudden, we might have a load of money, and it'll all be all right again. Then I can start thinking about buying some stock. But at the moment, we're waiting on cars to go out, desperate to buy more stocks so that we can sell some, and we just need to get all these prepped and ready to go. I'm just trying to think what's really holding this stuff up. Range Rover Sport, we've got loads of profit in, that's great. We've got a nice Touareg coming in in part exchange. And the only thing that's holding that up is the side steps didn't deploy properly. So we've had to put new motors on, but I think they've been a right pig of a job to do as of anything Range Rover. What have we got? An Arbar 595, that's 
out there, ready to go today, I think. So we should get paid for that later. So that'd be some money coming in. Got an Audi A5 that's going to Mark. So that's the Audi A5 Sportback that we bought at auction. That's going to Mark. So we'll have some money coming in for that. Bear in mind, that's on a stocking plan as well. So the vast majority of that I'll have to pay back as well. So a couple of grand, really. For Tara, that's going out soon. We just picked that up from the paint shop earlier. I don't know what I'm saying here, really. It's just, it's not, it's, it's, it's a stress. No matter what's going on, if you're starting out in car sales and you're finding cash flow tricky, don't worry. It happens to all of us, especially me at times. But in a minute, it'll be like, I feel like I'm a billionaire because there'll be a load of money in the account and I'll just spend it all again at auctions. I have actually been for a meeting this morning with the accountant and we're talking about we need to get on top of all the data a bit more so that I can be like, like when we're with Jamie, I don't know if that video will be out by now or not, but if not, you'll see it in the future. Jamie had a list there and he had £600,000 due in. I probably got, you know, 100 maybe. Um, but he's like, I'll just go and spend that money because I know it's coming and I'll be all right. Um, which is a bit more ballsy than me. And I mean, to be fair, I have done it because I bought that Range Rover because I thought it was a great deal. But that's kind of the way it has to go. You can't really play it too safe, but then you just got to juggle everything around. One thing that does help is using things like your credit card. I use Capital on Tap. And uh, if I really needed to today, I could draw down, say, £20,000 to make sure that I've got money in the accounts to pay everything. It would cost me, obviously, about 3% for the month, which is you know quite a lot. But if it just gets you through, that's the sort of thing you've got to do in business. Yeah, so sometimes you can have too many sales. No, you can't really. But I guess we just need to be cracking through them a bit more. So... I need to get this paid to Moto Novo. Right, so uh, I paid off that finance. We'll have some more money back, but at the moment, do you want to see how much money is in my bank accounts? I'm sure you all have to know how much is in Joe's Barrow Motors bank accounts. Here are, look, Barrow Motors won £6,755. Don't forget, I'm only spending 4,700 quid in a minute, so there'll be two grand in there. This is like an old account, which uh, we pay our bounce back loan out, so I just keep a bit of money in there, which pays this. So I owe twenty grand, twenty one grand on that now. There's my personal account with one thousand four hundred and fifty one pounds, and a savings account with four four hundred and seventy three quid. So, you know, pretty big time. You can understand why I'm just splashing cash around and sponsoring racing drivers and stuff now, can't you? <laughs> uh, but that's just the way it'll be. It will go back. It'll all pump back up again in a minute. You can see how much is coming in. But, you know, it's just the way it's got to be sometimes. Don't panic too much. Um, but, yeah, it is handy having something like Capital on Tap on hand. This isn't really an advert, although I will do one in the future because I am working on something with Cap on Tap because they are very good. You earn points. I can buy stuff on Amazon. You can transfer it into your balance. And that's what I use to buy a hexagonal lights out there. Put all my expenses through it. And we've got a 35 grand limit with them. So, worst case scenario. I could get a bit of money from there, put it in. Um, it's just a very handy tool to have in your toolkit. Um, so yeah, I just thought that'd be interesting because that's, that's the lowest the bank account's probably been in a little while. Uh, if you've seen any of um, Dave from Car Dealer Pro's videos, he says he likes to have a little buffer of 50K across all the different accounts to pay for tax and VAT and all that sort of stuff. And it seems like me and... Jamie Capel of Khaki, we're a bit more cavalier. We're just like, yeah, spend it, mate. And then when we've got the money, we'll pay the bills. I mean, I could probably pay my PAY thing on the Capital on Tap, which I'll probably do in a minute. You have to be a master juggler in business. So there you have it. That's, uh, I don't know what we'll call this video. How much money is in my bank account? How much have I got in my bank account? Not a lot. Maybe because I spent it all on a lovely... Tag Hoyer watch, which happens to be down here. I don't keep it here. Don't come and rob Barrow Motors. I'll put it somewhere else. Well, look at that bad boy. A Tag Hoyer Formula One. This is like a two grand watch. If you want to find it on Pride and Pinion. You know that Nico van der Host uh, guy who's all over YouTube? That's his website. He's got these for sale. Two grand. I'm giving one away completely free. All you've got to do is subscribe. And when we hit 75,000 subscribers, we're giving it to someone at random. I don't really know actually how I'm going to figure that out. But at some point, one of you will get a chance to win that. So, yeah. I haven't got any money at the moment. If you did want to sell your car in the future, you could visit carsboughtformore.com. 
uh, enter your information, we'll give you a price. And if I've got any money, I'll try and buy it from you. Um, hopefully by the end of the day, I'll have a little bit more. Uh, if you want to buy any of my merch, that would help me out. You know, buy a couple of mugs and we, I have lunch. Uh, you can find that at shiftingmetal.co.uk. Mm, what else, Toby? Come buy it. That would really help out. Come buy a car, especially one that's ready to go. If you want to pay up front, Toby might get paid this month. Then you can do that at barrymotors.co.uk. Anyway, that's it. Just a quick video. I just thought thought it'd be interesting. Show you the nitty gritty reality of running a business. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Subscribe. And that's it. See you next time. Bye bye.